welcome to my corner. Woo! Welcome to my corner. Let's have a talk now. Uh -huh. From Miami to California. Yeah. Check your girl out. I'm gonna give it to you straight up. That's right. That's right. Keeping it real. No things inside. Let's go. Welcome to my corner, y'all. What up, Pippa? What up, what up, what up, what up? Welcome back to the corner. Welcome back, welcome back. All right, so we're doing a movie review today because, uh, you know, I took myself to the movies this weekend and some people were like, okay, how would you rate it? What did you think? So we got two movie reviews coming, two of them things, two, two. And the first one we're going to do is The Incredibles. Okay, so um, I don't know if y'all know, but I love cartoons. Um, I could watch cartoons, not all day, but I like cartoons because I'm childish, duh. And The Incredibles was like the best movie that came out when, well, no, no, no. Nemo and The Incredibles tied. It was like Monsters, Inc., The Incredibles, and Finding Nemo tied, okay? I was 12 when those movies came out, 12 years old. I remember my mom bought me them movies on DVD, bro. It was not a game. Okay, so back in my day, before there was Blu-ray and Fire Sticks and stuff, we had a DVD and when you bought movies on DVD, it came with two discs, okay? There was either you had the, the widescreen version or the full screen version, or the two discs was like the full screen version and the bonus features, okay? So, me being who I was, before I went to go see The Incredibles, I pulled out my DVD collection, okay? I pulled out my DVDs, okay? Friday night, I sat in the house and I watched the first Incredibles. Like, and I was sitting there and I was like, oh my God, this movie's so funny. It's even funnier as I'm an adult. Like, oh my God, The Incredibles! Like, I was so excited, right? So like, I watched it Friday night and then like, I saw everybody on social media who was going to see it and they were hyping it up. So like, my anticipation was like building to see this movie. Okay, so Saturday morning, I do all my adult stuff because I'm taking myself to the movies and I'm going to watch Superfly, I'm going to watch The Incredibles, and I'm going to enjoy it. So I go into the theater, um, and AMC, uh, The Incredibles, stopped working. So the lady came in there and was like, oh, y'all not finna see The Incredibles today, we finna give y'all a free movie pass, and y'all gonna have to come back. So I scheduled The Incredibles until 8.30. So once again, my anticipation is rising because everybody else is seeing it and y'all are like, it's so good. It's so great. I'm like, I gotta see it. 14 years. I'm excited, okay? So 8.30 comes. I get to the theater and I'm disappointed. <laughs> the Incredibles is not incredible to me. I don't know why. It was a solid seven. Um, first things first, I really didn't get the cartoon that came before the movie. Like the little stupid, it wasn't stupid, but like, the little clip before, y'all know what I'm talking about? The, the little dumpling clip where the little, that was cute, I guess, whatever. But I just expected it to be amazing because 14 years later, you had nothing but time to write an amazing story. You had nothing but time to make it funny. You had nothing but time. What have y'all been doing for 14 years of my life? Like 14 years, 14, you know what I'm saying? And so it was just a solid seven. Like it wasn't terrible. It just wasn't as amazing as the first one. Like I liked the first one better. Um, and maybe that's because I was 12 when I watched it. But then again, I just watched it on Friday and I was still amazed. Um, I just thought it was a 7. I'm not going to lie. Like, I, it, nothing blew me away. I kind of fell asleep on it. Like, it, I don't know if it wasn't for us. Like, I thought it was for us because it came out when we were kids. But I guess it wasn't for us. I guess it was for these toddlers. I don't know. But it was a solid 7. Um, honestly, I feel like if you can pay $5 to see it, don't pay for the, the late night show. And had I not got in free, though... Shorty would ask for a refund. Um, don't pay, don't pay money to go see it. Pay, pay five dollars and watch it. I mean, I guess it's cute to take your kids, and if you have kids, they enjoyed it. But I don't know. Am I the only one that felt like it was a letdown? Like I just felt like fourteen years later of my life, at my whole childhood, I waited for a part two. My whole childhood, okay? Like you could, like you could have came out with a second time, a second feature any time, but you didn't. So now I'm in adult land partially like half adult half childish and it still wasn't good i was just disappointed yeah i was just disappointed i was really disappointed i was and you know like they they hyped it up before it came on like it's worth the 14 year wait no it wasn't no it wasn't it was a solid um seven it was just a seven shout out to jack jack though he brought the entertainment that's all i had like just i don't i don't think it was that good it was a seven i'm not gonna say it was movie of the summer because it wasn't um, I just, I don't 
know. Maybe maybe they got to stop making the remix and making part two. Because I also feel like Monsters University was garbage. I also feel like Finding Dory was garbage. Like, I don't know. Like, I feel like they're all seven. And it's disappointing because it really, like, puts a stamp of a seal of the end to my childhood. Because, you know what I'm saying? But, like, I don't know. Like, I don't know. Y'all tell me. Did y'all enjoy it? Like, everybody else was like, it was so great. And I was like, no, it wasn't. It was a solid seven. It was a seven. It was a solid seven. Like, not even a 7.5, just a 7. Um, I'm sorry. The Incredibles wasn't incredible to me. And that's really sad because they used to be my favorite little... They were so good, but no. I'm sorry, y'all. The Incredibles wasn't... The Incredibles... I didn't leave... I didn't... Like, when I watched on Friday, I felt like I was invincible. I felt like, yes, The Incredibles are great. They're my favorite superheroes. And then I went to the theater on Saturday, and I was like, I don't even know... I don't know. Maybe I gotta watch it again. And maybe I need to watch it, like, with a whole bunch of kids because, like, maybe they'll hype it up. But I wasn't impressed. I'm sorry. And to be honest, like, can we talk to you parents real quick? Um, I know y'all think all cartoons are for these kids, but they not. Um, first of all, like, your kid was not even thought of, wasn't even planned, wasn't even around when The Incredibles came out. So why you had them there open at night, I'll never know. Why you, like, one lot of y'all not. Okay, I pulled up to AMC. This lady had a minivan. She pulled back the minivan door, and all these little rugrats popped out. And I was like, "Why? They, what? Where, where are they going?" They're like, "We're going to see the Incredibles." I was like, "Huh? Like this ain't for y'all." Like maybe two weeks later, y'all can go see it. But like honestly, it was for my age group, and that's what I saw in the theater. My age group, and the little toddlers were screaming. It was just whatever. Either way it goes, the Incredibles wasn't that incredible to me unpopular opinion you can fight me if you want you can at me if you want i just don't think it was that good y'all let me know in the comments what y'all thought i thought it was a solid seven yes or no all right